Hi, my name is Tracy Mason. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Clodeval Winery in Napa Valley. At Clodeval, we've been making wine for nearly 40 years, and as a result, people have been collecting our wine for just about as long. Our wines have a unique and beautiful, elegant style that gives them the ability to age with grace. And so we thought it would be worthwhile to show you how to open a bottle of one of our library wines. Here in front of me, I have a bottle of our 1993 Clodeval Cabernet. So it's about 18 years old at this stage of the game. Um, the first thing that you need to know about opening an older bottle of wine is never to use your standard corkscrew. Uh, the corkscrews put a lot of pressure on the cork and they tend to break when you use them with an older bottle of wine. Second thing is to remember is always to remove the foil before you do anything with it. Um, you can use the knife on a standard corkscrew that you see here, or I prefer to use a standard foil opener, which you can get in any wine shop or on our website. You just take the foil cutter and you, slight, and you squeeze it and you go slightly in, uh, along the edge of the bottle. Um, you'll note that it pulls off in a ni nice, neat little disc. Then, instead of using the corkscrew that we talked about earlier, you should try and find one yourselves one of these, what's called an Osso cork extractor. Uh, you can see from the cork that, from the uh, Osso, that it has two prongs. One is longer, one is shorter. This is what will actually go against the cork and help extract it in the most delicate way. You start with the longer prong and you delicately wiggle it into the side of the uh, neck between the cork and the, and the glass. Once that's parallel with the second prong, you begin to, with your thumb, guide the second prong into the other side of the cork along the glass on the neck of the bottle. So now you have both prongs in the cork I mean, in the bottle, and so you should start just slowly applying pressure, maybe a little bit of wiggle, into the cork and um, into the bottle, being as delicate as you can. This is, doesn't have to be a quick process. I know you probably want to get into the bottle super fast, as do I, but the best thing to do is to do this as slow as you can. If the cork starts to move, it's okay to give it a little bit of a twist, to give it a little bit of leverage, um, and push it in further. It's a little bit of a wiggle. Now what you're doing here is you're holding both sides of the cork so you're sure, assuring that it, won't, that it won't crack. One thing you need to remember though, if you happen to break your cork in an older bottle of wine, it doesn't mean that the cork is bad. It just means that the cork has been in that bottle for a really, really long time. And sometimes cork, because it's natural, will cr crumble naturally. So it's important to go as far down as you can with the ASO against the cork. Once you get to a certain point, it's really good to just grab the osso and the cork together, as I said before, and pull out very, very, very slowly. So as you can see, our patience has paid off and we were able to extract the cork in its entirety using the osso tool. If you take a look at the cork, you'll note that it's, uh, it's got a lot of color to it. This means that it's been stored properly and the corks remain damp, protecting the wine. So when the corks damp it, it fattens and it uh, makes sure that no air gets into the wine as it's aging. So now you get to enjoy the best part, which is actually drinking the wine, which is always my favorite part. Give it a little swirl, get a little oxygen in there. Wow. This, like all Clodeval wines, is aging beautifully. So if you're out there in the marketplace and you happen to see an older bottle of Clodeval or an older bottle of wine in general, don't be intimidated by it. Go ahead and buy it. There's no better way to com than to commemorate a special occasion or anything like that than with a bottle of wine from that particular year. So thanks to all who have been enjoying Clodeval wines now and have been enjoying them for nearly 40 years. We hope to see you here in Napa Valley at the winery here in Stag's Leap District as soon as possible. In the meantime, we wish you the best and thank you for your support.